Scientists say that a series of earthquakes on both sides of the Pacific are completely unrelated. Rescue crews are still digging for survivors in multiple quake zones. In Japan, scores of people were killed, while in Ecuador, the death toll is at least 270. Rescuers shout through the rubble and wait desperately for any reply. Kenny! Maggi! This town, Manta, is one of the worst hit, with buildings flattened when the earthquake struck. Against the odds, there are three survivors, but it'll take time and a bulldozer to get them out. Others search in vain. At Pedernales, this woman is losing hope of finding her nephew alive. His mum is desperate. I understand her. May God save my family at least. Everything was lost. I think the little nephew was inside. Across Ecuador, the earthquake has wrought devastation. Coastal towns were worst hit. Thousands are injured, many treated in the open, unable to reach proper care. Others escaped with seconds to spare. My daughter was home and she was almost trapped, but her husband managed to get to her and get her out. Once they managed to get out, the house came down. As the death toll mounts, thousands more are homeless. Aid agencies are sending tents to the worst hit areas. Many are salvaging what they can or packing up to find new homes. But buckled roads have made some towns impassable. Saturday's quake came days after four separate tremors in Japan, although seismologists say it's just coincidence. They're happening at opposite sides of the Pacific Ocean, so they're not connected. But it is uh, curious that they've happened at about the same time. There have been nearly 200 aftershocks in Ecuador since the first quake hit. Ann Barker, ABC News.